people, but in gel, I'm going to use it. I'm going to, I'm going to spray this, and when I spray it, it's going to be flat. Also, this is a really good thing for when you have your full lace wigs. And I did a full lace wig for my ponytail for my birthday, and I did buy this to where it should be. My hey. I don't have my good tip. It's going to be smooth like butter. This is going to be easy transition. Stay tuned for the next one. Yes, ma'am. Hey, beauties. What do you do? Welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I am going to be following a few of your favorite YouTubers tips and tricks on this frontal life. And girl, do you see this? Hold up. Do you see? Do you see this from honey? So shout out to these YouTubers, Glamazante and Erica J. Okay, because they came through with these tips to get for me to get here. I feel like we should always give credit where credit is due and share where we learn things from. I learned a lot of things from other YouTubers and I am not ashamed to say, look, I got this from her. And I definitely feel like we should all support each other in that way of just like, you know what I'm saying, shouting each other out and just giving, like I said, giving credit where credit is due. So shout out to them beautiful ladies. They be killing the lace game, okay? And I'm just trying to get like one of them. <laughs> anyway, today's video is sponsored by, y'all already know, Hair BB, okay? Hair BB is back, Hair BB is bae. And y'all, they coming back with this new, improved, revamped hairline, okay? When Hair BB first started out, they had the, y'all seen the first wig, it's a wig. It blew up, that video went a little viral or whatever, and they had just the best pre-plugged hairline you ever did see in your life. Like, flat out. But then a lot of people was complaining like, oh, the wigs are too thin. So, Hair BB, they always listen. I'm telling you, they be listening. So, Hair BB revamped their wigs and made it thicker made higher density wigs and then people were complaining like well now the hairline is too thick hair bb listen they came back with a mix from the thin and the thick and they put it into this beautifulness that i have on my head so they have revamped hairlines pre plucked hairlines y'all already know the knots are bleached all that good stuff the construction is always quality a one i love that hair bb is starting to incorporate that adjustable elastic band inside the wig a lot of companies are doing this now let me tell y'all this changed the game with this whole wig life okay because you can lay these wigs so nice and flat and flush to your skin that you really don't even need gel glue none of that but i did want to go ahead and try the boho glue just because i want to try it and i really want to wear this wig for like at least a week in this video it's just gonna be one of those super real tutorials of me walking through trying some stuff out this is not like a perfection technique or nothing like that like i said i'm trying some things that i learned from some other youtubers so yeah i hope you guys enjoy it let's go ahead and jump into it girl 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 all right, we're gonna jump right into it because we gotta get this together. I have my wig here from Hair BB. Here comes my one roll. Y'all know we this this gonna be a real tutorial. This ain't no gonna be no voiceover. What? No, I don't want to put that train on. God, y'all hate this train. Why did I buy this train? It is so loud, and he always wanted it on all the time. All right, so we're going to start with the whole ball cap method. I have not did the ball cap in a long time. But I want this wig to be laid, 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 like as laid as it can be. So, as it, pretty self-explanatory, which y'all will see me do. But I'm just using the um, Got To Be Glue gel in the black bottle and also the free spray. Y'all, I'm gonna be trying out the little glamour on tape method. I know y'all seen it when she little cut cut the little ears out. Like I said, y'all, I have not done the ball cap method in I don't know how long. It's been some months. So, okay, okay, Tay. She was on to something with that one. I think I did it right. And then you wanna cut a hole on the other side, y'all. This cap. Oh my god. <laughs> oh lord. Okay. Oh, girl. I ain't do this side right. I got runs in my stocking. <laughs> oh no, baby. We gotta use. I gotta use a whole new cap. Look at this. Mm mm. Hold on. Take two. All right, y'all. New cap. I'm gonna actually spray this so that stocking cap can go ahead and kind of start getting adhesed to my um little hair right there. 
And you know what? I should probably go ahead and do my alcohol first on my hairline before I do this whole cap method. But I just got some alcohol here. I think it's like 50% rubbing alcohol. It probably ain't the right kind, but whatever. Spray it on a little cotton round. And you definitely want to make sure you're cleaning off your hairline before glue. Because you want that glue to stick. All that dirt on your hairline or whatever you got on your face is going to prohibit that glue from sticking as good as it can. You just want to really make sure that you got all your baby hairs out the way. Because with glue... You don't want your baby hairs being tugged at. You want to make sure them things is gel back to capacity. scissors resharpen because these really suck so through this video y'all might see me struggling with my shears That ball cap is looking good though. I'm just gonna put a little bit more gel on the edges so it can kind of like, you know, be extremely seamless. I'm about to go back in with my alcohol and just clean this up because now I'm about to finally do my glue. So I wanna make sure, you know, all of that stuff oh that's burning yeah you want to make sure that this is definitely cleaned off right before you apply that all right y'all moment of truth it's time for bold hold got the bold hold active so it comes in this little glider so i feel like you know oh ooh. so i feel like it's just easy to go ahead and apply it oh, here we go here we go here we go like it's looking i'm gonna go ahead and put a quick second layer on oh Whew. all right y'all i'm kind of freaking out not because nothing is going wrong with the glue it's because i'm rushing girl I gotta get my baby from school in like two minutes oh my god i'm gonna go ahead and clip the hair back on this wig just so it don't be you know getting all over the place all right here we go i don't know why i'm so nervous Here we go. Set that thing right there. I learned all of this from Erica J, y'all. <laughs> that glue is not dry. I feel like I'm making a mess. So I've never like put my wig on like with the lace. But I be seeing her do it like that and it comes out flawless every time. So I was like, you know what? I got to try that. Um, I think I messed up. <laughs> I feel like I didn't put this lace in the right spot because I got glue like outside of my lace. I should have brought it up some more, but now it's stuck. 
so it's like game over <laughs> but this side is looking good like this side is looking great i can feel like i did that perfectly but girl up all right girl we're gonna have to pause i might have to go get my kid just like this we're we gonna have to come back all right y'all i'm back i'm back and i know for sure my wig is glued to my head girl, like it is on there real 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 real, real tight i should have just never touched it as you can see it's like a little bit of glue outside of that lace but honestly this thing dried up pretty good now i'm about to go ahead and cut this lace Taking some argan oil just to like loosen everything up and get these baby hairs unstuck. <laughs> yes! I am gonna do a little bit of plucking because I feel like these baby hairs is like mad thick. <laughs> so I'm gonna just pluck them out a little bit. Laid up in this big first of all this bold hoe glue is no joke like this thing is this thing is on my head like forever <laughs> the first time I used glue I used this little cheap hair store glue and it was such a mess like it was so sticky and it was just ugh, like I that glue was not it but when I tell y'all this bold hold glue I feel like it just melted into my skin i even like this better than the ghost bond glue i used the ghost bond glue on my youtube model which y'all saw and i like the bow hold 10 times better but yeah i'm definitely gonna be showing y'all how this wig holds up getting it wet how i'm wearing it throughout the week and stuff like that blah blah blah, blah. i'm also showing you guys how i remove it with the remover that i bought so make sure y'all stay tuned for that it'll definitely be in another video but yeah i'm just geeked up because i feel like this is the best like application i've ever done this is was the ultimate the ultimate meltdown like i said the beginning of the video always pay it for it and shout out who you learned something from always give credit where credit is due so i'm gonna say it again glamazon tay and erica j i follow both of their tips and i got this result my wig is laid my wig ain't never been laid 
quite like this. That is it for this video. Y'all comment down below your favorite YouTuber and where you got some really helpful tips from because I feel like we can all learn from everybody, okay? So yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Shout out again to Hair Beauty for this bomb, bomb wig. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. I swear, Hair Beauty got the best like curl patterns, wave patterns, like the hair on their wigs just be so freaking pretty. And it just feels so virgin and so like, real you know it don't feel like that rimy hair it don't feel like that fake stuff so y'all make sure to go check them out all the links will be down below in that description box make sure y'all follow me on instagram i can't believe i'm over 20k followers like that's crazy thank y'all so much so follow me on instagram and see some pictures and stuff make sure you like this video if you enjoyed it i really appreciate it and i will talk to y'all in my next video bye girl